cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will surely help you. I will uphold you with my right hand of righteousness. I sought the Lord, and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears. He delivers them from all their troubles. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not be afraid. For I am the Lord your God, who takes hold of your right hand and tells you, Do not fear, I will help you. He does not fear bad news. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him, and He will do it. But those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Commit your works to the Lord and your plans will be achieved. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in times of trouble. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Today has enough trouble of its own. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Cast your burden upon the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. Have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And my God will supply all your needs according to His glorious riches in Christ Jesus. And after you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to His eternal glory in Christ, will Himself restore you, secure you, strengthen you, and establish you. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will give you counsel and watch over you. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And we know that God works all things together for the good of those who love Him, who are called according to His purpose. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a future and a hope. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for Him. 
Do not fret when men prosper in their ways, when they carry out wicked schemes. Who of you by worrying can add a single hour to his life? So if you cannot do such a small thing, why do you worry about the rest? There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear involves punishment. The one who fears has not been perfected in love. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have, for God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. The Lord will guard you from all evil. He will preserve your soul. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Consider it pure joy, my brothers, when you encounter trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Allow perseverance to finish its work, so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-control. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom shall I dread? You will keep in perfect peace the steadfast of mind, because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, because God the Lord is the rock eternal. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust, I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, freely give us all things? For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor principalities, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you go through the rivers, they will not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be scorched. The flames will not set you ablaze. A tranquil heart is life to the body, but envy rots the bones.